Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. In today's video, we are taking a little tour around the Fluid Flux version 3, which has just recently come out. And this is an, an incredible plugin for Unreal Engine that simulates real water physics. Let's hop on over into another little level here, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three. Oh, where is it? There we go. Okay, so here we have a fluid flux simulation that starts over in this corner uh, by basically putting down a water generation source, basically a, a starting point from where water flows from. And then what we have is static mesh geometry in the form of rocks, where the uh, water is actually discovering the edges of those static meshes and moving through them, not only in a realistic way, but also in a way which generates uh, foam depending on what sort of environment the uh, water is hitting, what sort of speed it is hitting at, what sort of depth it is hitting at. If you can look at those little details, they're actually so incredible. Like look at this deeper pool right here and where we have this smoother water transition. Here we have water moving faster and it hits some rocks at a faster speed and it creates those uh, water splashing effects. Now, if we were to actually stand here in this little square for uh, enough time, this entire area would actually fill up entirely with water. That's because our water generation spout is kind of turned on with no on off switch. And this would actually entirely fill up with water. Uh, we've even got the water simulation uh, influencing a water wheel here in a physics uh, sort of way. And then of course we've got our boat, which is being slowly pushed down the river. Slowly pushed down, well, not quite a river, is it? It's more like a little, uh, little something or other. I don't know what it is, but boats, floating, water, buoyancy. Let's jump over to the level over here. Another another really cool little thing is that you'll notice about the fluid flux simulation. Number one, looks like as of version three, we now have underwater uh, swimming caustics. We also have like a stationary floating. And the neat thing that you'll notice is that you can apply different buoyancy settings to your character or objects or whatever you want to be influenced by water, right? And these characters will actually take that buoyancy and be affected by it. Now, if we were to look closely, when those waves come by, let's see if we can find a wave here. If we were to look closely when those waves come by, we can see our characters actually bobbing up and down, realistically keeping to the surface of that water, which is just so, so cool. I think over here what we've got is some beach balls. Here, we'll reset quickly. Beach balls floating in the water that we can take a look at and uh, some various other floatable objects. Oh, where are they? Somewhere over here. Anyway, we've got uh, floaty boat, of course, floating in the water. We already looked at floaty boat before. Uh, the other cool and interesting thing, there are those, there's the floaty beach balls. But uh, as you can see here, you can actually apply a float density or a float uh, buoyancy to any particular uh, unreal object that you want to interact with water. The beach balls, of course, have a higher floating capacity, so they're really sitting up there, whereas these little uh, uh, empty cans of water, uh, empty cans of empty plastic bottle waters, uh, are actually kind of even sinking a little bit, right? So they have like a less buoyancy. So you can really create a beautiful and realistic simulation in regards to different things and their buoyancy levels. Let's take a walk under the sea. And uh, again, you can see the Fluid flux simulation interacting with the static mesh exactly where its geometry is uh, and just behaving as water would, behaving as water would. Uh, I think the underwater caustics are looking absolutely beautiful. You can actually see in a distance there some of those lighting scatter effects. Actually, we'll go take a closer look here because there is actually a little drone flying around uh, under the water there with a, with a light source emanating and it's just a really great looking underwater light effect. This is um, looking really impressive. Uh, the last time I used Fluid Flux was uh, version 2, and it was great, but this is just looking so much cool. Er, even cooler, I should even say. And here we got some fishes swimming around. Now, I'm not even sure of the details of those fishes. Are they uh, physically uh, rendered and interacting with the water? I'm not entirely sure. I need to look into that. But uh, as you can see, here's the, the light source which has that underwater uh, underwater caustics illuminated um, 
and I just actually love what's been done with like the underwater environment, like the looks, the look of the way the light is diffusing through the you know, surface of the water compared to as you get deeper and deeper and deeper. And I've actually even got some beautiful ambient sounds in there that correspond, that you know, certainly seem to correspond to depth. Um, so yeah, this is this is absolutely a phenomenal. Oh, and something else incredibly cool. Like I was telling you before, water buoyancy and whatnot. You can actually let's see, let's let's ragdoll our character here. And uh, now what will happen is this character will actually be influenced where it has its flotation points, right? So you can assign flotation points to say like the arms or the legs or the wrists or the head, wherever you want the character to kind of float from or have buoyancy uh, interacting with water with so in this case we've got kind of i suppose the buoyancy parts are kind of in the shoulders and whatnot but you can see as those waves sort of lap up on the shore the uh ragdoll character is kind of bounced around and pushed around by water uh we definitely got some grand theft auto vibes that's for sure uh cruising around in this little sailboat uh rowboat um uh, just little boat that goes on its own with rows that are currently unused let's just say it goes on the water it's pretty cool. It uh, follows the curvature of the wave line. You can jump off. You can go for a swim into the deep, deep, dark, spooky blue. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That looks great. I hope you guys have enjoyed a look at Fluid Flux. I'll leave a link to the uh, developer's uh, website uh, in the description of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.